Good evening, our top story tonight. Bonnie Doon residents are speaking out because of the state of California and their decision to try to place a violent sex offender in their small neighborhood. Thanks for being here tonight for KION News at 6. I'm Veronica Macias. Well, the 69 year old was convicted of raping a girl in Santa Cruz at gunpoint and neighbors say they are extremely worried and now they're voicing that concern on social media. KION's Erica Bertine spoke with a woman who lives just down the street from where Michael Cheek could be housed. Veronica, Bonnie Doon locals and neighbors are voicing their concerns about convicted felon Michael Cheek moving into their quiet Santa Cruz Mountain community. Absolutely not acceptable in a community like ours. Trisha Prophet lives on Wild Iris Lane and just a quarter mile from where the state is considering placing Cheek. Prophet's neighborhood, like most in Bonnie Doon, is wooded and remote. Everyone knows there is unreliable internet in the area, and the lack of internet may be the biggest problem. That's because Cheek will be monitored with an electronic ankle bracelet. His footsteps need to be traced, yet with spotty Wi-Fi, that's not going to be possible. They also worry about the area's police coverage. There are teenage girls that live on the street. There are three of them that live beyond this house. They would have to walk past it. In the early 80s, Michael Cheek was convicted for two violent crimes, kidnapping and forcible rape. Third District Supervisor Ryan Coonerty has been making sure neighbors are aware. He's recently taken to social media, trying to get people to write the state. The history that we've been able to track down is he's, he was from the East Bay. He came to Santa Cruz for the day, um, uh, took a woman at gunpoint from Seabite, beach and took her uh, into the woods and raped her, uh, was convicted, escaped from jail, and then raped a 15-year-old uh, in another community. Cheek has no family and no connection to Santa Cruz County. There are no social services for this man to go to. There are no, there's no ability for him to go to meetings or do whatever sort of therapy he has unless he's driving himself. Um, it's just, it's just not a place for somebody re-entering society. Earlier this year, the state tried to release Cheek back to San Mateo County, but the community there fought back. Now Bonnie Doon is doing the same. People can state their opposition by visiting criminal info at santacruzcourt.org, but you must do so before this coming Monday, August 23rd. Veronica, I'm also told the property where Cheek is set to rent was just less listed. Neighbors say the homeowner who they have known for years has gone silent. Back to you. Thank you, Erica. We'll see what happens.